Good morning, everybody. Cheryl Echeverria here of Echeverria Travel. I'm here to educate you guys not to feel sorry for me, not to do anything else. But as you know, I specialize in people with special needs and disabilities because I have special needs and disabilities. I've been type 1 diabetic since the age of 12. And if anybody is out there that with diabetes, it is considered a disability as well because it causes many, many other issues uh, from heart disease to kidney failure to blindness to amp amputation. And the young and the old, diabetes doesn't know from anything. And type 1 is when, with me at least, a virus as a child attacked my pancreas. And since then, I've been type 1. Type 2 is when you don't eat properly and your your system gives out and all that. Today, I'm educating you guys because you know I'm also with CKD, which means chronic kidney disease. If you're first time following me, then yes, di type 1 diabetes caused me to lose 75% uh, of my vision. I see nothing out of this eye. I have some vision out of this eye. I can still see, still work on my computer. If I'm asking you not to text me and to email me, it's because certain programs I cannot see well on others or it doesn't work well on others. So if I'm asking you to email me, that's my preferred way of communicating with me. I can do it on Facebook, but don't do it on my cell phone. That's why I don't really give it out for communication with my clients unless it's absolutely an emergency. CKD is chronic kidney disease, like I said. Uh, I've had it since 2002. At the age of 35, my kidneys gave up on me. I had to go on dialysis three days a week at a center. And at the end of three years, I started doing peritoneal dialysis, which I didn't know what it was. And uh, instead of being in the center, you do it at home. Today, I'm going to show you... Because many kidney patients, old and young, still don't know what PD is and that you could do it at home. And it's fantastic because when you're on dialysis at a center, you're doing it every other day. And that's not the best for your body because you're already sick, you're going through anemia, this and that. It's not good on your heart. It's not good on your period because of all the blood going through your system every single day. And it could cause sepsis and so many things going on. I'm going to show you my dialysis machine that I do at home. I'm going to stop this and start again because it's getting a little long-winded and put it all together so that way you guys can see exactly what I do. And again, it's to educate you. I think education on anything is the best. And being a travel agent, it also shows you you can travel having disabilities and special needs. There's nothing that can't stop you. In fact... This morning, if you're watching the local news, it actually was on a national news, Good Morning America, the first blind, uh, not blind, Down syndrome man finished the Ironman marathon. He swam, he rode his bike, and he ran to a, a marathon and a half. And a lot of people without disabilities can't do that, and he did it. So check out the news on that. I will post that on my Facebook page and say, go for it. You know, life's too short. Let's enjoy life. So, yeah, I'm going to show you exactly what I do for dialysis. Okay, so now we're back. And this is my dialysis machine. It's maybe less than a foot long. I mean, two feet long. Uh, it's... Uh, Rectangle shape in a box, uh, very flat, and it has an LCD screen on here. It also has beeps and stuff, and what it does, these bags on here, I didn't set up yet for the, for the, for the day. You have two bags, sometimes three, depending on the prescription you're on, set by your nephrologist. There are different, uh... I want to say strength, determined by your daily weight. Every night I have to weigh myself, take my temperature, blood pressure. And if 
you can, if you gain four pounds, you do a heavier dose of the medication. Or if you just gain like a pound or two, you do a lighter one. The more that more water you drink or intake, the more weight you're going to put on, and that's not good. So, dialysis patients have a water restriction. I'm on 32 ounces a day. That includes my water, my coffee, soups, anything liquid. It's 32 ounces. Period. Yes, I go over that, but I, you know, I'm very good at what I'm doing. And uh, the best thing about doing dialysis at home. As you may have seen, I just came back from Club Med. Only thing Nelson did was pack up my machine and bring it with us with my supplies. If you're going on a cruise, you could get your supplies sent to the port. If you're going uh, to our state, you get that sent. If you're going international, you could still do it, but we it's got to be a charge to send your supplies outside the country. But, you know, it's better than trying... And it's very hard to find a seat at a dialysis center because there's so many people that are on dialysis that you have to plan months in advance to get a seat at that location. Sometimes it might be two places. If you're going on a cruise, every single port, you're on dialysis. If I'm on every single port and I'm sitting three, four hours on a chair at dialysis, then... I might as well not go because I went there to see the destination, not to your dialysis machine. This way I could, I hook up at night because it's a nine hour treatment. There's four cycles in there. So it, it, it fills me up, drains me out, fills me up, drains me out. I have a catheter on my belly that I'll show you if you want to see it. Um, that is put into your peritoneum area. So as long as you keep that clean, and the doctor show you how to do that. It's about a week long training at an in sector's, and then um, Medicare does pay for it. Your insurance does pay for it. And every month I order my supplies, and they're delivered here. So anyway, I set this up every night, or well, actually during the day. That way, if I, like I said, it, the treatment lasts nine hours. So if I go bed at seven o'clock at night, it stops at four o'clock in the morning. So, depending on when I go to sleep at night will depend on how long I'm sitting in bed. There's also manuals you can do as well, which um, a lot of cruises do the manuals and you do it four times a day instead of overnight, depending on your cycles and your manuals all depend on you and how well you're draining, how, how well the... Uh, how well uh, everything is cleaning out, and that you have to do on a monthly basis with your doctors. Uh, when you're planning on traveling, you still have to let your center know, so that way, in case of an emergency, you can find you the local dialysis center and your doctor. But again, you're not um, you're not trying to figure out um, times, and also dialysis at sea. You got to pay for that. That does, and a lot of insurances don't cover it because it's international and it's not something insurances cover. So you've got to pay out of pocket out there. You're paying for the doctors, you're paying for the nurses that are on that ship. Not all cruise lines offer dialysis at sea. So that's something to think about. Um, like I said, you could take your machine anywhere with you, it's about five pounds. And yes, you, you got to bring your supplies with you. And, but I have to do this every single night until either, God forbid, God takes me or I get another kidney. My last kidney lasted me 15 years. And there is a long waiting list of people when you're out there talking about things and um, doing wills and stuff. Remember, God does want our souls. They don't want our body parts, so... Uh, try to remember. Also, donate blood at, with COVID and other things going on. The blood supply is very low, and um, I I would love to donate blood, but I cannot due to my medical history. So, anyway, I am going to show you. This is um. This is the machine. Um, again, my um. I'm not going to show you my catheter. I'm still a little iffy about that, but 
these are things that you should know about. Cheryl Echeverry has been there, done that. Then wheelchairs, scooters. I walk with a white cane sometimes due to my vision, service animal. And remember, 93% of people with disabilities and special needs is invisible. You don't know that somebody has it unless they tell you about it, from diabetes, to kidney failure, to cancer, to uh, down, you know, there's so many autism, people with autism, you don't know until you're speaking with them sometimes. You don't know what somebody has until you start talking with them and there are people who are afraid to travel because they're saying, I can't do this and you can do it. So God bless and have a great day. Okay, everybody, I have my machine setting up so you can see exactly um, what I do every day. Right now it's going through the self-testing, but what I did was I took the, the plastic off the bags and I set them up. Um, this is a cassette that every, uh, every day you have to put a new cassette in. It has a door here you open up, and I can't do that right now. Each one of these lines has a different job to do. This one, um, left to, I'm going to do left to right, actually right to left. And that does be to let me know the next step is done. This one... On the right hand side goes either in your sink or in your um, bathtub so the water that goes into me when it first let me start again when the system first starts the I from my peritoneum catheter is opened if there's any liquid in there from the previous night, it will drain out. Then the first fill from the bag is a certain amount that not everything in this bag goes in me at one time. This, these two bags take four cycles and nine hours to do. So once a fill is done, the fill is in me for an hour and 48 minutes. After that, that, that water... And this is all dextrose, it's all water and stuff that helps pull off any extra water and toxins and that's how it cleans out your kidneys. Pulls out, and no, it doesn't hurt. You may feel a little cramps here and there towards the end because that means all the water's out and that's fine, that's what you want. So anyway, I'm going to pause this for a moment and then I'll come back and show you the other four options of what goes on here. So let me pause this. The machine is right next to my bed. So you want it as close as possible to you and on a table slightly elevated to where you're lying down. Because I can sleep, I can sleep, whatever. So anyways, this is the first line like I said and it has a cap here. You take the cap off and you put it in the bathtub because we have a walk-in shower and that's that first line. Come back here to my lovely bedroom. Thank you. Again, all these are supplies here. You gotta wash your hands. You gotta make sure when you're cleaning your catheter, you use special bleach. I also have to learn how to, when you're going through your training, you have to learn how to put antibiotics in the bag with a syringe if you have to, or heparin. That's to make sure you don't uh, clog up your catheter okay so I have like a whole uh, slide here okay the, the the red line here next to that first line if you can't see colors it's red white blue and then there's a long one here these three go to I'm gonna say the medicine bags and they're connected here and I'm not I'm, to these and it's here. I'm going to go do that right now because I'm just going to set all this up. And then the very last line, this is the line that goes to me all the way on the end. So, and that attaches to my catheter. And I'm attached for nine hours. So I get at night, 
I'm watching TV. We let you sleep in anyway, so might as well do it at night. You can do it, do it in the day if you want, but remember the the option is nine hours. Um, I'm right next to my bathroom, so I could get up, I could walk around. You're you're not you're not you don't have to lie in bed. Put it that way. I have a nice chair next to me. My bed, so I can watch TV or lie down, whatever it is. You're not stuck here. Um, during that hour and 48 minutes, they do not recommend you undo yourself. Because every time you connect and disconnect, you risk the uh, contamination of your site. So that's why it's very important to always wash your hands. Uh, and they show you exactly how to clean it. And, you know, as long as you keep, you know, the sterile uh, and safety issues, you could, people do PD for years. I mean, you could do it for years and years and years and not have to worry. But if you do have an infection, there's ways to clear out it. And God forbid you have to go on in center. But th this is a very good option for those on dialysis and a healthier option. Um, I know people that are totally blind that do this as well. They do have help at home. Nelson does help me if I need it. He needs to know how to do it if I'm sick and I can't do it. But I do all this myself um, every night. He moves the boxes around for me. <laughs> but um, And you got to change your diet here and there and wash water intake, but... And yes, there's days that I feel very anemic and very tired and stuff. But hey, I go out, I try to do my business, I try to live my life and that at home or wherever I have to go. I mean, nobody knew at Club Med that I was on dialysis at night because they saw me every day. So, hope you learned something from me and learned that you can travel while you're on PD, if, especially if you're healthy enough to do it. Have a great day. Cheryl Echeverria, Echeverria Travel, 407-910-6469. We are not just essentially uh, located in Central Florida. We're a nationwide company. So remember to contact us for all your travel needs. Thank you.